two things. I heard Gene Sperling on TV saying that these are actually improvements to Social Security and Medicare. And the second thing is that this is tactical, uh, that they are seeking to wear down Republicans' anti-tax resistance. What do you think of those two arguments? Well, like I said uh, a few moments ago, I know people who are on TV working for the president defending this proposal who don't believe in it. And I'm not going to comment on who those people are, but I just I know those people are there. Um, and so uh, you see people get on TV and say absurd things because the president tells them to. Mm-hmm. I just feel sorry for them. Um, the uh, question of tactics. Uh, the um, This is sort of the hard part, really, of this, this conversation. Uh, I believe that the president thinks he's keeping faith with Max in this whole thing. Mm. And that if the president was here today and we could somehow turn off the, the, the broadcast part of this, then he would say to Max, listen, we're not really going to do this. Right? This is a game. Right? This is a game. This is a game to make Republicans look unreasonable, show that I'm you know, bigger than all this. Uh, and, rep- and we know that the Republicans are never going to come to my last dollar of my offer. So we're never going to get to this. It's just a game. Um, this is Alan. I respectfully disagree. I've had conversations with the president that indicate otherwise. Well, and these conversations go back for four years. Elaborate. I, but, Alan, I'm, tr- yeah. I'm trying to give him, I'm trying to put the president in the best possible light. That's now, not a light that he deserves at this point. <laughs> <laughs> now, but here's the problem with that. Okay, the problem with that is, is that this is not a game. That, as, as several people have said in this conversation, Uh, A couple things are going to happen in real life as a result of this, no matter what happens next in terms of the fiscal fight. Uh, The first is is that the belief of rank-and-file Democrats that there's a reason to go out and vote, uh, and I think Alan talked about this earlier, the belief of rank-and-file Democrats that there's a reason to go out to vote is going to be heavily damaged. And that's not just going to affect people who who signed on for the president's program. That's going to affect people like Alan. And it's going to mean that the overall power of big money in our society is going to rise. The other thing that's going to happen is that, and several people have talked about this in this conversation, is that um, a whole lot of folks who have a variety of different reasons to want to destroy Social Security and Medicare. Some of them want to destroy it because they want to pick up the business for their business on Wall Street. Some people want to destroy it because they don't, because they don't, they fear that taxes for the rich might go up if we tried to, you know, strengthen those programs. Those folks are going to see, see opportunity. They see opportunity and they see cover. And regardless of how these tactical games play out, those two things are really going to happen in real life. Right. And the only way to stop them is by what we've been talking about in this program, which is to make sure that this whole thing is totally radioactive. Mm-hmm. Congressman Grayson, I'm going to allow you the last word. Uh, do you actually believe that President Obama believes that, uh, that this is a part of his legacy, that he can actually build a reputation by being the first sitting Democratic president to actually propose uh, cuts to uh, the, the, the big uh, pillars of progress that we have created in the 20th century, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid? The president uh, buys into the right-wing analysis that both programs are somehow in danger. Um, And the president, uh, in a very misguided fashion, actually believes that he is saving both programs. And as was true uh, to a great extent um, on the Obamacare bill, the Affordable Care Act, the president doesn't really care about the specifics of the outcome. He just wants an outcome. And uh, he hopes that he will be remembered as the president that put Social Security and Medicare on what uh, some people would call sounder footing uh, from now until uh, the end of time. That is completely, in my view, delusional. Uh, the, the idea that, that by taking Social Security away from people, you're putting on a sounder footing is demented. Um, if we raise the retirement age to 67, that's a 100% cut in benefits for people who are 65 and 66. And I I don't think that's saving the program at all.